That <clears> lowercase <throat> stands for asshole in your window. Yep. Dicks. Yeah, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah. I think I do too much of anything. Can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm AI generated Harry. And I'm the artificially unintelligent Richard. Hmm. Uh, this is Dead Dex. Mm hmm. Uh, are we done? Yeah, I think okay. so. This is about as meaningful <laughs> as it gets. Well, the uh, topic today may make us obsolete. Well, <laughs> way more obsolete than we already are. <laughs> yeah, that sesky uh, <laughs> may make us obsolete. Oh, shit. We're already obsolete. Obsolete. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what are we talking about we're going to talk about something about AI <laughs> uh, we're not even really sure what yeah, two fucking bumpkins from Abu Dhabi talking about some AI I'll tell you all about AI <laughs> can't even pronounce it it's two letters can't even pronounce it properly AI <laughs> what was it the Kamala Harris, the vice president, had to stop and make sure everybody knew what AI stood for. <laughs> yeah. it stands for artificial intelligence. <laughs> in case y'all didn't know. And our <clears> case <throat> stands for asshole in your window. Yep. That's about what we're going to use it for. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so Harry, take it away. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's fucking shut it down. So we, we were thinking that uh, you're ashamed of us already. We're, well, maybe the topic is something like uh, its impact on TCGs. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, maybe or the future impact at least. Yeah, that's a, that's our. Yeah, that's what that's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Specific to TCGs. Yeah, we both of us are just dabbled around with the uh, AI prompts, uh, both visually and uh, um, what's the word prompt one, which uh, gives you answers on the ask questions and shit. Yeah, and you know, there's of course many different ways that could both of those could be used on the TCG game side. Uh, first thing I thought of was trying to write rewrite rules for us. I tried with Hyperion Gates because that's the one we always. Go back to... To make just, new ones? Yeah, to rewrite the rules. Yeah. Um, but it's like, I don't know how Borean Gates. So. I was like, yeah, I feel you, bud. That's fine. <laughs> Nobody else does either. Don't worry about it. Don't feel bad, AI. Uh... Well, he's like, well, I could probably get this motherfucker to write me a game. So I was like, hey, write me a TCG game. And it did. And it spit it out in about 10 seconds. You know, and we didn't, you know, we didn't go too much further than that. Just kind of testing out the waters on it. But, I mean, if you really wanted to... Prompted heavily, yeah, you could you could create a game. I think I through AI. did that too, pretty early on. It's like make me a game that count. You can describe features and say some abilities that are whatever. Yeah. Some wild fourth wall breaking abilities. I think it's one of the things I put in, and it came up with a bunch of shit. Yeah. I think it included like throwing cards at each other's face and all kinds of fun sounding <laughs> stuff. That's way better at this shit than we are. So. Fuck yeah, it was. <laughs> so. Yeah, it wrote multiple pages. Yeah. 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 Some of it was meaningful. Some of it was stupid. But. Yeah. So that's something that we may actually, uh, we get bored enough, start playing around with a little bit. I don't know if we'll create anything for ourselves. Just more, just have fun. But The idea of a completely AI-generated game soup to nuts is pretty interesting. Like, yeah. write me a rule book. Write me this section of the rules. You probably could compile a whole rule book. You will. You could. You could. You just have to prompt it heavily. And, yeah. And, you know, go back and revise other prompts. Or, like, no, I don't want that. Change this. Blah, blah, blah. So it'd be a lot like creating a real game. You just they do it all the actual thinking for you, really. Yeah. And yeah. the nuts and bolts of it. The whole rule set, card names, card abilities, you could do all that. Yeah. If you had the patience to sit and keep interacting with it. Yeah, and once you have all that done, you can switch over to the, the image generator one and generate you all what's images for your cards. Boom yeah. done. Yeah, I think I couldn't come up, come up with the specifics, but I think there are some games now that are using it. So I, I did just confirm what we were talking about earlier on the art side. Uh, there was a game called Mystic Spires that I was following that had a Kickstarter, and I thought the art looked gorgeous. It was really small, though. I, I don't think it blew up. I don't think they were getting enough traction on it. But um, I was following them, and they later, I think, canceled it outright before it ended. And they said the reason was because you can't copyright AI-generated art. So uh, I confirmed that in the U.S. They have ruled you cannot copyright AI-generated art. So for them, that was a deal breaker. I'm not smart enough to understand why that matters so much. 
if you're making some obscure little Kickstarter game, do you give a fuck? If anybody takes your art and puts it on a poster, I mean, what do you care? Yeah. They're not going to. They don't, nobody gives a shit about you. But if you, And if you blow up big enough, somebody's going to come in and swoop in and steal your all your ideas anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It was legally fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Not as blatantly. They couldn't yeah. take your art, but they still just run you over. Yeah. So yeah, for us, it wouldn't matter at all. I just wonder if there's some other legal consideration I'm not thinking about. So all you lawyers out there watching this channel... Oh yeah, I'm sure there's a bunch of you. Yeah, tell me why you. That's really a deal breaker. Yeah, <clears throat> is it truly my simplistic thinking of you're just worried they're gonna steal your art? Because I just wouldn't care. I mean, outside of you prompting for what the art is, it's not your art anyway. So yeah, who cares? Yeah, I guess that's what the court determined. Is yeah, it's not yours. You can't copyright it. But yeah, I, my thought was, well, you're telling it what to do. You're, you're prompting it and. It's supposedly unique. Like, it should just be a one-time thing. So, I don't know. I don't know. Fucking whatever. I wonder if you could... And we talked about this, too. If, if you, once you do generate something, pull it into some kind of an editor, make your own edits, if that's then copyrightable, since you manipulated it? Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, in that case, when throw it in Photoshop, put a fucking filter on it, and... Ta-da! Yeah. yeah. Yeah, give it a, give it a step of your tone and go on. Yeah, this is mine now bitch i created it yep i don't i don't have to dig more to see if that's uh that's possible and yeah, we just wanted to keep the, the streak alive of talking about all the new and upcoming things that we're really good at doing you know we had a we had we did in, was it nfts back in the day yeah we mm -hmm. got in on that game too touch you later fucking dumb this one looks a lot more promising than nfts <laughs> yeah fucking nfts uh is anybody is there any nfts that people give a shit about anymore <sighs> A really fucking small number of people. Yeah, yeah, I can't imagine. I remember looking. I went down the rabbit hole for a few days. NFT uh, CCGs. Interesting concept. Because you're tied to a CCG digitally, then you actually do retain ownership of that card forever. Right. But you know, if the digitally engine for playing the game went down, yeah, you'd have a piece of digital art. Yeah, that anybody could still just. Copy and make a JPEG of it if you really wanted to. I mean, you would own yeah. the original, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you'd have a proof of you have a certificate of ownership. <laughs> I own this card. Can I write that on the next card about anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I own this house now. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's on, it's on the blockchain. <laughs> blockchain. <laughs> Pretty sure that's a kinky sex move. <laughs> Yeah. The blockchain. The blockchain. It's kind of like the daisy chain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what the fuck were we... Oh. So, <clears throat> yeah. I think we finished the whole art thing. I don't... I established... I don't know why that matters that much. Yeah. Uh, I do hope Mystic Spires comes back, though. But without that art... Man, that art was just sharp. Yeah, and... Uh, Richard's fucked around with one of the uh, image creators. What was it called? Starry AI. Starry AI. Yeah, it lets you do like, um, you can watch videos, watch ads to get free credits for every day. Uh, and they give you a few every day anyway. So, you know, every day I was going there watching a few videos while I fucked around, making 30, 40, 50 images. And a lot of it's pretty cool. Yeah. Some of it's fucking weird and comes out stupid, but some of it's great. Another one of the really big ones is Mid Journey. I know it does a lot of fantasy art stuff too. And there's a guy I've watched on YouTube, Alpha Hoarder. He did. A lot of the alpha magic cards through mid journey and they turned out fantastic i mean it was really fucking good yeah that can create <clears throat> some incredible stuff yeah that one's only through a discord server you have to go in and do some discord stuff i don't i'm not a big discorder so i don't know yeah <clears throat> type some words and letters and shit and then get the <laughs> stuff I don't, know, I don't know we've established how pretty heavy discorder yeah richard will probably get in there and dabble i'm sure yeah i've already got i don't know Got a couple dozen at least. It's impressive. Discord channel. That's all games. I'm stalking. Of course. Uh, what was I going to fucking say something else? Oh, before the AI generated art conversation is over. <laughs> There's a picture we've got to make sure we put up here somewhere. So I was describing to Starry AI what I thought was a decent description of Harry and I. Uh, can I read the whole thing? Yeah. Two chubby guys sitting close together facing the camera. They're both bald. One on the right has a black beard, both holding a glass of whiskey. Uh, behind them is boxes of trading cards, eerie and strange. 
that's what I put in. So hopefully, right around now, Harry, <laughs> we can put up the actual picture that it generated, which makes me fucking laugh every time I see it. <laughs> I did. I don't. Uh, yeah, sitting close together was probably my primary yeah. mistake. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we weren't sitting that fucking close, and we're not quite that chubby. No. Should have defined the chubby a little bit. There's another... Oh. <laughs> 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 it came up with a couple of variants. Uh, that was pretty good. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, yeah, that's enough right. to make me laugh. Yep. That's the other cool thing about all this AI shit. And a lot of it's funny. Yeah, it's funny. It still does some crazy shit. Somebody pointed out to me on one of, I think, our Facebook page... It, it adds like too many fingers to people and does yeah. really weird alien shit. Uh, Harry's got a sideburn running up the way up his head for no reason. Uh, that's some really funny stuff. I went, I don't know what the fuck's on me. You uh, leaking some milk there, buddy? <laughs> With them tits, I yeah. probably am. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, we got anything else to say about this shit? I don't know. I mean, no, probably not. I was curious to see if anybody can take full advantage of it. I, yeah, at some point, I think somebody will. Uh, and they probably get to a point where it's so common that, I mean, there'll be too many games you can keep up with. I mean, and some will get weeded out. Just, they will be just junk. But, I mean, you'll be able to create, in a day, create an entire game. Oh, yeah. I mean, it may all be digital or just, you know, not... I mean, it won't be physical in a day, but it'll yeah. be done. Yeah, with the art, I mean, you make incredible art now with no investment whatsoever. That's a that's a game changer, surely. Yeah, uh, costs you no money. You don't have to have any talent. You just got to be able to say shit into a phone. So what you're saying is, we got a chance. That's right. We have, we have a chance. Got a chance, buds. Well, fuck. I don't know. We got anything else to say? I don't think so. How we do? Yeah, good enough. Fuck. I think we did, bud. Let the AI shut her down.